everyone uh, today is October 21st 2019 and I'm here to do our daily check-in so let's begin if you're wearing headphones please lower the volume Okay, so first of all, I really hope that everyone had a really good weekend. Um, I have made some changes to my website uh, over the weekend, and one of them is the career reading. And uh, for that particular reading, um, I did mention that, you know, the full price would be $33.33, but after really thinking about it, uh, when I had like, you know, my first run, um, you know, providing that particular reading, um, some people only had one or two questions, where others had five or six. So uh, instead of having a set price, it's pretty much based on the number of questions that you might have pertaining to your career. So if you have one to two questions, the career reading would be $11.11. .11. If you have uh, three to four questions, it's $22.22. .22. .22. And if you have five or six or more, it's $33.33. .33. So I really hope that that's helpful because uh, I also realize that some of you are going through job uh, transitions and um, you know and could probably use uh, some guidance especially if finances aren't uh, really good for you at this moment but you're seeking guidance um, so I try to make it a little bit more affordable you know if you have a specific you know general questions uh, pertaining to your career so um, so that's that um, the second change on the website is um, I change uh, the Twin Flame Quickie price. Um, it's no longer $15.15. It's now, um, I think, $22.22. .22. So, <clears throat> so there's that change and also uh, there's a couple other price changes, but not too much. Um, I do know that if you want uh, a live reading, <clears throat> the full price will be uh, $111.11 as opposed to $99.99. So um, that sale price will, will go on until the end of the month. Okay, so I really um, wanted to change, you know, um, just some of the things on the website because I realized that I've been putting way too much time into some of my readings. And so, you know, I try to compensate, you know, my time and energy <clears throat> when I'm channeling those messages for you. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the reading because I really feel like over the weekend, it was like a time for healing. Okay. I even myself felt that way. I did uh, clean. So that was a good thing. And so, um, you know, when I woke up uh, this morning, um, I felt this shift in energy and it was really positive. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to reveal like what that is unless I see it come through in this reading. So let me see um, what comes through. So first, I would like to see what is the general energy of the Divine Masculine and what is the general energy of the Divine Feminine? What is the general energy of this divine masculine? And what is the general energy of this divine feminine? Spirit, what is the general energy of this divine masculine collective that I'm channeling, please? And what is the general overall collective energy of the divine feminine?
Divine Masculines, we have here Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back, okay? And this is really beautiful. This is number 23, which reduces to a five. And so, you know, I feel like, you know, Spirit is really working on your Divine Masculine at this time, okay? You know, and I really feel like it's in terms of wisdom, knowledge, looking at things from a higher perspective, really tapping into their spirituality from what I can feel, okay? I feel like there's some sort of change, you know, with the Divine Masculine's awakening or opening up their third eye chakra, okay? Possibly their crown chakra too. So, Divine Feminines, White Raven Spirit, trust in the magic, wow. Both Divine counterparts are in a bird uh, spirit for today. And here we have a number 66, which is a master number. So <clears throat> I really feel like there's some sort of change also with this feminine. You know, uh, 66 is uh, reduces to a three. So I feel like, uh, you know, feminines are really working, you know, um, on changing in themselves and trusting in the divine. Okay. That is what I'm feeling. And wow. You know, as I'm looking at this, you know, both counterparts are, are looking at each other. So I feel like, you know, that's really kind of cool, guys. I really like that energy. All right. So let me go ahead and pull some Oracle and see what is the current overall energy of this masculine towards their feminine. And what is the current overall energy of this feminine towards the masculine? Parts I feel uh, are feeling really spiritual today, you know, um, which is good. I feel like uh, both camp parts are really connecting to each other on a, a telepathic level, which kind of confirms um, my dream that I had this morning. So, what is the energy of this masculine towards their feminine? And what is the energy of this feminine towards their masculine? Huh. For masculines, we have anxiety, but it's in reverse. So I really feel like, you know, if the masculines were going through their healing process over the weekend, I really feel like they're coming out of, you know, being stressed out or worried or feeling anxious because spirit has their back. I feel like this masculine, you know, is soaring very high, okay, and is really seeing things very clearly now, okay? That's actually a really good feeling, and especially about this connection towards their feminine. You know, I see here a number 18, which reduces to a nine. And, you know, I really feel like this masculine is removing any obstacles or closing out chapters or cycles, okay, of, you know, their energy. And I feel like it's like negative energy in regards to this anxiety. So that's really beautiful. And for feminines, we have here fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Okay, and it's in reverse. So this is the heart chakra. I really feel like feminines, you're either blocking your heart, okay, closing out your emotions, and really trusting in the magic. I really feel like, you know, over the weekend, feminines, you have been really working on yourself and you're letting go of, you know, the situation or the energy that kept you stuck from your masculine. I feel like masculines, they're, you know, I feel like their energy is shifting so that spirit is leading this divine masculine to come forward towards their feminine because I feel like the feminine is really trusting in spirit okay, that the masculine will either come back and open up their heart chakra or, you know, they know that there's something better that is coming, okay? That is the feeling that I'm getting. Wow, okay. So let me go ahead and see what is the underlying energy of this masculine and what is the underlying energy of this divine feminine? Where is the underlying energy here, please, Spirit? Mm -hmm. 
divine masculines hold your vision okay you know they 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 know spirit has their back okay they're holding their vision i really feel like you know again i feel like this masculine is really seeing things from a higher perspective they're seeing things very clearly now i feel like you know, now that they're out of this anxiety and they have really worked on themselves and really healed you know uh, their emotions they're holding their vision when it comes to their feminine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. And feminines, we have your have faith in your dreams. Oh my God. What did I say? I had a dream this morning, guys, okay? It was about my masculine. And I don't know why I dream about him a lot. I've never dreamt of a man in my whole life, you know? That came into my dreams so many times like it, it's almost every other day where my masculine pops up in my dreams but he was in my dreams uh last night and so spirit is saying have faith in your dreams okay you know this feminine okay their heart is blocked but they're they're trusting okay i feel like feminine you're really protecting you know your heart chakra because you have been through it with your masculine, okay? That is the feeling I'm getting. And, you know, depending on your situation, either you have little communication, no communication, or you are having communication. And, you know, you're still not, you know, ready to open your heart fully to your masculine until, you know, your masculine has completed their healing from what I can see. But this masculine, you know, is really thinking about this connection. I feel like they come to terms uh, with, you know, their emotions towards their feminine, okay? That is what I'm feeling. They had to get out of that, that anxiety, the worry, possibly guilt, shame, um, feeling lack, you know, those sort of things, you know, and rise above that energy. So that's what I'm seeing so far. So... Let me go ahead and pull some romance angels and see how does this masculine currently think about their feminine okay what is uh, their current energy towards their feminine with how they are feeling okay how does this masculine currently feel for their divine feminine and feminines how do you currently feel towards your masculine in this now moment okay how does each counterpart currently feel towards each other spirit <clears throat> we have your reconciliation this masculine is really holding their vision to reconcile with their feminine i feel like now that they're no longer anxious about approaching their feminine you know if your masculine has not uh reconciled with you i feel like you know they are really feeling this call to do so at this time that's what i'm feeling i feel like your masculine is about ready to make things right and that's really beautiful oh my god and here we have wedding okay the situation involves marriage you know, if you're married to your masculine, I feel like your masculine is ready to reconcile, you know, the situation in regards to the marriage that they have with you. But if you guys are not married, okay, I feel like this masculine wants to reconcile with their feminine and want to give uh, their feminine, okay, a chance to, you know, like, um, take the relationship to the next level okay that is what i'm feeling someone from your past is returning to your life and the situation involves marriage okay guys that is what i'm seeing your masculine is really thinking about long-term commitment with you divine feminines and this is really beautiful it really is i feel like this masculine has gained some clarity that you know they were the ones that were keeping themselves stuck and whatever anxiety that they might have had in the past and i feel like they're coming to terms that you are 
that one person that they want to spend you know the rest of their life with and that's really beautiful my goodness so feminines stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so feminines you know stay optimistic you know here we have have faith in your dreams right now your heart chakra is blocked okay but i feel like you're gonna trust in the magic of whatever comes to you okay i feel like feminines you're trusting in divine uh, intervention from what i can feel you know and right now you have your heart blocked off until your mask on really you know puts the time and effort to approach you and communicate how they truly feel so have faith divine feminines that's what i'm seeing but you know you want to let your masculine know that you're staying optimistic okay about this reconciliation with your masculine and here we have very soon oh my goodness oh clearly decide what you want so that now it comes to you okay feminines you know i really feel like very soon your masculine will communicate to you that is the feeling i'm getting like there's something about like these birds okay birds is communication and and that's what i'm seeing and you know i really feel like you guys are going to be texting or sending messages with each other okay um about like what's been going on okay i feel like you guys are going to rekindle you know a past situationship that you've had with your masculine in the past this is really beautiful energy guys like i feel like reconciliation is happening um today and throughout you know the the next week or so you know um especially up until the 27th so a week from now into a week, I really feel like this energy is present within this collective. That is so beautiful. Oh my God. Okay. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and pull some additional love messages from this masculine. And a message from this uh, divine feminine. How are they feeling towards a connection with each other? Okay. How is this masculine feeling and the connection towards the feminine? And how is this feminine feeling towards their masculine? Masculines, <clears throat> we have virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. This is so beautiful. You know, I feel like I think it was like last week sometime I had posted something in the community feed about divine feminines being a virtuous woman. And here we are, this masculine is mirroring, you know, uh, their divine feminine. And how they're feeling about their feminine is that they are vir virtuous. You know, they are acknowledging uh, your loving uh, spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. And that is what this masculine really admires about you, feminines. That is what I'm seeing. And do you see that heart of chakra? It's green. And so, you know, right now, if your masculine has not communicated to you about how they really view you or feel about you, feminines, they really see you as this virtuous woman or male. Okay? That is what I'm seeing so far. And that's really beautiful. That is why this masculine wants to reconcile with you. They really want um you know to really uh think long term and possibly marry you okay they really see you as marriage material that is why i'm saying you're very virtuous you know and spiritual and they love that attribute um about you feminines okay so feminines how do you feel towards your masculine willingness you're able to compromise if the end result is love <laughs> you know and i see that's true right you're trusting in the magic feminines okay that is what i'm seeing you're trusting in the magic 
your heart chakra is closed off until your masculine comes forward and express you know their true feelings and emotions towards you what i'm saying is that you know you're trying to have faith in your dreams okay and you're staying optimistic about your love life you're trying to stay positive and faith that'll bring you romance and very soon you know you're trying to clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now i feel like feminines you have been very patient with your masculine practicing unconditional love you are actually you know embodying you know this virtuous person okay you don't just talk it you walk it okay and you know you are very different than any other person that your masculine has encountered okay you actually you know emulate a virtuous person in their eyes and feminines you are willing to compromise if the end result is love you're willing to give this relationship another shot if your masculine comes forward okay and reconciles with you and i see it in their energy this masculine de definitely wants to reconcile and they want something long term and i see it very soon okay this situation is going to unfold into something long term guys okay i kid you not you know with this uh, collective that I'm channeling, you know, it's very strong that union will happen, okay? And I noticed that it comes in waves, like, you know, one wave of twins that I'm channeling will come into union, and then like a couple weeks later, another wave uh, comes into union, and I really feel like, you know, in the coming week, another wave of twins are actually going to be coming to union. And what I mean by union, you know, I really feel like it's just communication, reconciling, you know, um, you know, just trying to work things out so that you can have something long term. Okay. I really feel like this masculine is no longer, you know, holding back. Okay. They see your true worth and they know that if they don't pick up the pace, they might lose their feminine for good. Okay. And, uh, it's kind of like the feeling of, you know, like the one that got away okay because this masculine definitely had to go through their karmic lessons to really figure out you know who was the, the virtuous person okay who practiced virtue in their life you know and they really can't say much for anyone except for their feminine their feminine is the one who was the virtuous person from what they can see and they know this okay and that's what i'm seeing that's why they want to marry you feminines that is what i'm seeing and very soon you're gonna be receiving a reconciliation you know or some sort of communication definitely uh communication coming through okay so feminine stay optimistic that is what i'm seeing so let me go ahead and see <clears throat> what is the current energy of this divine masculine for their feminine are they currently thinking about their feminine? How are they feeling towards you at this time? What is it that they want to do in the connection? What are the actions they're going to take? What is the challenge block or obstacle? And what is the outcome? Here we have Five of Cups. This masculine is really sad and disappointed of their past choices, guys, okay? I feel like this masculine has been thinking about this over the weekend. That is why, you know, they, they're awakened to this connection. You know, I feel like, you know, they're no longer worried uh, about, like, you know, their situation that they place themselves in. Because I see that this masculine has been reflecting that they have been really focused on the third party situation where, you know, um, it, it's kind of like done. Okay. And they knew that the love was always there with their feminine. Okay. And I feel like this masculine is ready to turn to look towards their feminine. I really do. Because I see this energy, you know, of communication that is going to be happening between you two. 
and also we have here the Queen of Wands. I feel like, you know, this is a karmic situation. This masculine is really thinking, okay, about like the choices that they made, okay? Now, this karmic could have been lusty. Um, they could have been, uh, you know, more for like a physical, you know, satisfaction from I can feel. Your masculine is probably attracted to this person because of their outward appearance, not so much of their inward appearance, okay? But also, I mean, this could be the divine feminine. You know, this feminine, you know, is a very, you know, desirable, you know, very passionate you know, and they see this feminine as someone who, you know, does things and, you know, and runs with it, okay? They don't hold back, okay? And they see this. So that is why, you know, this overall energy of this masculine is that they now see the truth about, you know, the karmic and their feminine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. <clears throat> And also, we have here Five of Wands, okay? You know, this is conflict. I feel like, you know, if your masculine was in a third-party situation with a karmic, now there was some conflict, okay? There could have been fighting. There could have been some arguments from I can feel, you know? And definitely a third-party situation. So I feel like, you know, you know, this masculine is really, you know, regretting, you know, some of the actions, you know, they have chose in the past. You know, and they're ready, okay, to release that sort of anxiety of this conflict. That is the feeling I'm getting. You know, I feel like there's multiple people here involved with this masculine's energy. And um, it could be uh, about work, okay, or working on a situation, you know, with the karmic or, or possibly with the feminine. I feel like maybe this masculine was defensive and um reconciling with their feminines in the past for i can see because again you know i really see that this this goes two ways it, it the energy here is about the karmic and about their feminine okay there's two sides to every story you know, in multiple ways when I can see it. But your masculine was like really thinking about their past and their past actions, knowing that the, the love was always there with their feminine, okay? That is what I'm seeing. And here we have the chariot. This masculine wants to move out of this energy, okay? They want to work on, on the situation with their feminine. They want to build something solid from what I can feel, you know, and get out of this conflicting energy okay and they're watching you feminines okay they're watching your your moves you know trying to see what you're up to from i can see you know and you know it's about like something long term they're trying to really study you feminines trying to really see you know is this is something that I can have that I'll be happy with for the rest of my life? That is the feeling I'm getting. They want something solid for I can feel. Okay. And, you know, I really see here with this Nine of Pentacles, they really see you as single and independent. They're possibly wondering, you know, Am I going to take away from my feminine's independence? They're doing so well. I'm not sure, you know, if, if I should entertain this idea. You know, that is what, what they're feeling. But they see that, you know, you're good on your own. From what I can feel. And, you know, I really feel like they're really, you know, holding back and really deceiving, you know, themselves from, from really taking that leap of faith to really you know express their true feelings towards you feminines okay you know i really feel like you know this masculine was running away from the connection not really knowing like what the future may hold they see you as marriage material from what i can feel you know and they're not really sure okay because they have been deceptive in the past also but i feel like this masculine is walking away from the karmic situation and you know whatever that that they were thinking they're working on it they were healing themselves from i can feel okay taking uh those steps 
to to walk away. That's what I'm feeling. This masculine is willing to walk away from a karmic situation. Yeah, because you know they they you know also I really feel like they want to also feel independent. Okay, from either a family dynamic. That's what I'm feeling. You know, and they're just watching you, feminines. You know, they're, they're trying to see what you're up to. And they really see you as marriage material. I mean, it keeps going back to this. This masculine really sees you as the mother, okay, or father of their kids, okay? Someone who is very practical, very grounded, very nurturing, who can take care of the home, who has a job, who is well-to-do and can succeed, okay, with barely anything. Okay, this feminine can make something out of nothing and they admire that about you, okay? Like you, you know how to um, take things, uh, you know, in a very practical manner, okay, and run with it. Like that's why I really see, they see you as someone stable, but someone who, you know, has a lot of passion and drive, okay? They really see you as this. Okay, but also they probably thought that whoever their karmic, uh, you know, situation was, was this, but really it was a facade. Okay, it was an illusion from what I can feel. And that's what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, they really see you as this queen of cups. You are the queen of all queens, guys. That is what I'm feeling. They see you as every you know, queen, a very virtuous person, you got it, you got everything, you know, that your masculine could ever want, you know, for a partner in life, that is what I'm seeing, they're really, they've really thought about it, okay, so how is this masculine currently thinking about their feminine, we well, have your ace of swords, okay, this masculine is really thinking about communicating their truth to you feminines you know they have reached like an awareness about who you are how much you really mean to them they want to you know um reconcile with you with their truth they want to be clear they want to clear the air you know if there is like anything that was hidden from you i feel like this masculine really wants to communicate their truth and that is what they're thinking okay they're really thinking about it guys okay so how are they feeling we have your temperance you know they're really healing themselves you know like balancing out their emotions really feeling like how they really feel truly towards their feminine okay and i feel like this was divinely guided spirit has their back okay and feminines you know you're trusting in the magic okay i feel like your intuition is telling you that you know communication is gonna happen between you two and you're staying optimistic about this reconciliation from your masculine and very soon you really feel that your masculine's energy is approaching because you're willing to give them uh, another chance or really compromise with them if the end result is a true love relationship okay that is why i feel like this masculine has been healing they've come to terms with their feelings towards their feminine and they're balancing out okay they're practicing patience because love is patient and love is kind okay that is the feeling i'm getting and they really feel this with you feminines okay that's they they really hold you up in high regard even if this masculine did not express this to you verbally okay that's what i'm seeing or they may communicate that to you when you guys have that talk so what is it that this mask wants to do in the physical we have here nine of swords okay this is the anxiety card this masculine would like to release their anxiety and i feel like in order to release their anxiety they have to communicate to you 
they have come to terms with it okay they know that until they can close out old cycles from the past this masculine needs to be open about their emotions about their feelings about their thoughts and everything they might tell you feminines that they haven't been able to sleep well at night because they've been thinking about you okay like they have been holding this vision that you know you are the one and they they really they've been thinking about it night and day okay more so at night when i can feel that they they've been thinking about how can they come correct back towards you okay and I feel like it's at a completion because the overall energy um, is anxiety in reverse. So they're coming out of it, okay? And that that's what's currently going on. I feel like, you know, this masculine knows it's time to communicate to clear the air, okay? So that they can open this feminine's heart chakra. Because this masculine knows that, you know, the feminine has their heart blocked because of this masculine. And it takes two guys. Your masculine has to put in the energy, the effort to reconcile with their feminine so that they can open up their heart so that you guys can heal, okay? It goes both ways. You can't expect, you know, healing if, you know, there's no work involved, okay? You really have to, you know, be open to it, okay? That is what, what uh, self-love is. If you really loved yourself, you would be open to communicate. You would be open to express your true feelings and your true emotions, okay? And I feel like this masculine, you know, has been blocked off or keeping, you know, their emotions to themselves, not really expressing it to this feminine, possibly lying to this feminine about how they really felt, from what I can see. That's why this feminine is blocked off. Okay, but the masculine knows that spirit has their back when it comes to this reconciliation with their feminine. They're feeling called to do it. Okay, so what are the actions is this masculine going to take towards their feminine? We have here six of pentacles. They are going to offer balance in this connection. Exactly. Before, I really feel like, you know, the feminines were giving a lot to the masculines. The masculines, you know, really wasn't giving much, you know, towards the feminine. But this masculine is changing. They want to reconcile. They want to, you know, balance out this energy. Because they knew that they were giving out way too much to the karmic situation. And, you know, they know that they have to balance this with the feminine. Okay? That is what I'm seeing. So what is the challenge blocker obstacle? Three of wands, okay? Waiting, okay? Waiting for the ships to roll in. And that was the block. I feel like this masculine was procrastinating. Procrastinating this reconciliation, you know, because, you know, of how they were feeling. I feel like, you know, this masculine, you know, was healing, you know, themselves, you know, still not able to communicate clearly to their feminine okay but i really feel like this masculine knows that they have to be the ones to step in and offer balance okay that is what i'm seeing so far oh god oh anyways so i saw my masculine's last name pop up on my phone but it wasn't him it was someone else don't you hate it when that crap happens it's like okay universe thank you but you know where where's the real <laughs> where's the real masculine <laughs> these energies are freaking they drive you crazy okay when you see those are signs anyways so what is uh the uh, future potential outcome you know from your masculine Oh my God, Ace of Wands. This masculine, okay, is ready to take action, guys, all right? This was the challenge with the Three of Wands, okay, waiting, okay, for the ships to roll in. I feel like they've got that one wand, right? And they're ready, okay, to deliver it to their feminine. That is what I'm seeing. They know that they have delayed this as long as they could, 
and they are ready to express their love to their feminine guys that is what i'm seeing so this is really beautiful my goodness so let me go ahead and see what is the union energies between the two okay what is the union energies between you and your masculine what is the union energies please spirit What did I say? We have a bunch of birds here. There's going to be communication. I feel like your masculine could be talking to other people about this situation, you know, trying to get advice, pointers, and tips from their friends or coworkers, you know, about like, you know, just moving forward from I can feel, you know, I feel like this masculine is planning, working uh, on the situation about expressing this okay to their feminines that's what i'm feeling but also i feel like there could be communication between you and your masculine okay it's very strong also oh my god i can't make this stuff up i have here the ring <laughs> guys you know the situation involves a wedding okay they, they want marriage. They want a commitment with you, okay? They want to reconcile. Someone from your past uh, is coming back to your life, feminines. They're holding their vision, okay? They're no longer anxious or worried, for I can see. They're, they're talking to their friends about, like, you know, dude, you know, I'm about to communicate to my feminine. I'm not exactly sure, you know, I, I want to offer, you know, a commitment. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And guess, get this. There's the Ace of Wands down there. Guys, Ace of Wands. This is what your masculine is going to do. This is the outcome. They're going to move forward and offer you a commitment. I kid you not. Like, guys, this is beautiful. What in the world? Today's a beautiful day. You know, and it, it actually um, correlates with my dream I had of my masculine this morning. <laughs> and here, oh my gosh, we have here the garden. I feel like your masculine is wanting to take you out to a public place or make it publicly known that your masculine really wants to be with you, okay? I feel like this masculine is leaving the past behind and moving forward to something that is more beautiful. And possibly, you know, your masculine is wanting to plan a wedding with you in front of this large fountain, okay? And this atrium, you know, where, where things are growing and flourishing from what I can feel. And I see here doves, okay, guys? Doves and two white like peacocks you know um, I'm not sure what the symbolism is about a white peacock but guys there's a lot of birds in this freaking reading today peacocks doves ravens um, eagles like all kinds of birds and then I think these are um, Orioles right what is that the state bird for Maryland what is that bird called Oriole I only know that because I think that's the baseball team for for Maryland, right? I don't know. Maybe uh, if you're from Maryland, maybe you can tell me. I don't know. But that that's what I'm feeling, you know. Um, this is really beautiful energy. And I see that this is protected. Okay, that is why, you know, um, spirit has the back of this masculine okay it is protected this is a protected you know connection from the divine because both of you guys are supposed to come into union yes you're supposed to get married you're supposed to reconcile very soon divine feminines your masculine is going to be returning that is what i'm seeing this is so beautiful wow i really like it you guys are going to be working out your differences okay and you know there's no longer going to be confusion from your masculine your masculine is really clear about like what they want and they want you feminines they want to make things right they want to set the record straight they want to clear out you know all the energies of the past for i can feel and this is coming reconciliation is coming for this group of uh twins that i'm channeling here today okay oh my god look at this we have here the writer 
there's going to be a message that you're going to be receiving from your masculine. Holy crap. And it's about wishes coming true, wish fulfillment, you know, riding on that rainbow, you know. <laughs> And rainbows uh, are a sign of auspiciousness. But I feel like this is quick energy, okay? Quick communication for a new beginning. That is what I'm seeing. Guys, there is going to be communication coming from your masculine, okay? About how they're feeling towards you. Like they were holding back because they were healing. And they were like stressed out and worried about how to approach you. Okay, Divine Feminines, that is the feeling I'm getting. And they, they've come out of that. They're ready to, to mend themselves, you know, um, even more. I feel like now they have the courage to get out of this, okay? Because they know that they were keeping themselves stuck or trapped um, based on, you know, their past actions. But they know that in order to work things out, they have to communicate clearly to their feminines and reconcile with you, okay? And offer something more, okay? Like marriage or a commitment, okay? This is like, you know, there's, there's no third party in this, okay? It's just you and me, you and me. And we're gonna we're gonna have a beautiful life together that is the feel i'm getting this masculine you know is tired of third party situations they just want you feminines i really feel this like really deep down inside this masculine loves you they really do okay i really feel it i mean so many confirmations okay a wedding they want to they want to marry you either propose, you know, something like a commitment, okay, but, you know, that's what I'm seeing, they, they want to renew their vows if you guys are married already, but I really feel like this masculine wants to make this publicly known, okay, they're coming, you know, uh, to communicate to you, okay, this is like text messaging, email, a phone call, they could possibly be talking to you, uh, you know, at work or, you know, in person. They might come to your house for all I know. But this masculine wants to, it, they're very clear. They're, they're, they, they feel like this draw, okay, to, to kind of speed things up because they know that they're losing time or they're losing their chance to be with their feminine, okay? That is what I'm feeling, guys, okay? Wow. So let me go ahead and pull an oracle message, okay, and see what is the closing message for this masculine, okay, and what is the closing message for this divine feminine? What is the guidance message here, please, Spirit? What is the closing message for this masculine? And what is the closing message for this feminine? Guys, this is so beautiful. Very soon, stay optimistic that your masculine is going to communicate. Like, seriously. Wow, this is so beautiful. Let me know. <laughs> it feels so good, guys. It's like a warm, loving energy. And feminines, you, you don't know how to take it, I'm feeling. You know, but you're willing to work on it. Okay, because you have so much love for your masculine, but I can feel, and your masculine is going to give you that balance. They know, they know now what, what they need to do, and they're going to treat you right. They're going to treat you with respect, with dignity. They're going to put you on a pedestal, but I can feel like this, this masculine, okay, they're not holding back. For masculine, set your course number 22, and it came up in reverse. Know where you wish to go, have a plan, the right direction, okay? And I feel like there was a setback for this masculine since it came up in reverse. You know, before they didn't have a plan of action, but now they do, okay? So let me go ahead and see what the feminine's energy is like. Keeping up immense effort advance okay but it came up in reverse so this here is a number 40 okay so i feel like you know uh both counterparts this is the number 22 but it came up in reverse so that reduces to a four so both divine masculine and feminine stability 
okay you know feels unstable and I feel like you know you're no longer keeping up with the time okay that it takes for your masculine because you know you have mastered the P word patience right patience you know it is it, you got it feminines like how long have you been patient for your masculine that is what I'm feeling that's why you're staying optimistic and you're willing to work on it if your masculine comes back in and fixes it that's all it takes you know but your masculine has been holding back okay because you know I feel like this masculine had fear about like their past choices but they know that they have to get out of it and fix the situation by communicating this to your to you feminines okay that is what I'm seeing so let me go ahead and read uh, from the book and see what this is okay so this is a number 22 for divine masculines Alice, like so many of us, wants to know which way she ought to go. You too may be asking yourself which way to go, what direction to head in. This can include questioning what your sole purpose is or asking for advice from others on what you ought to do. Exactly, guys. I can't make this stuff up. Asking advice from others, you know, that is what I'm seeing here. All right. Let's see here what decisions to make and what you need to do next. Alice is rather lost in Wonderland, and when we are lost, it is only natural to ask those who seem to know more than, than we do for advice on what we ought to do and where we need to head. But as the Cheshire Cat points out so cleverly, the right direction for Alice depends on where Alice wishes to go. It is the same for you, so now you must spend time focusing your thoughts towards knowing where it is you wish to get to. Once you have a better idea of your desired destination, the ambition you wish to achieve, or the dreams you wish to create, you will know what to do. Until you know that, it will be very hard for anyone to offer you any advice at all. This also applies to advice you give to yourself. Don't flail about it. Don't be about the mercy of others' advice or opinions. Ask yourself what you want to create, do, achieve, and be. You can then seek the very best advice and head in the best direction for you, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and read the reverse. Unable to set a course drifting, saying you're going with the flow, but allowing others to send you this way and that asking for guidance without knowing where it is you wish to go, refusing to plan or prepare, and then feeling confused as to why you seem to be stuck or thrown this way or that. So guys, this is what I'm feeling. This masculine is asking like friends or other people for advice, okay, because they're not sure. This masculine needs to know what it is that they want. Do they really want this connection with their feminine? And, you know, that is what I was feeling earlier in this underlying energy. This masculine in the past, okay, was feeling sad and disappointed about their past decision and choices, okay? It was about a karmic situation who they thought, you know, was very, was the one, okay? Like, you know, they, they might, might have, you know, they probably look good, okay? They probably, you know, fit the role, but, you know, their actions wasn't totally there because I feel like this person was you know for themselves and not really for their masculine very independent person okay they only got what they want and they left the situation and and only cared about themselves from I can feel and you know that's why there was conflict you know and they tried to work on a situation with the karmic for what I can feel and now this masculine is wanting to balance themselves and move forward and away Way because they have been you know observing their feminine okay making observations about what it is that they want in a long-term commitment possibly this masculine you know chose a, a karmic who they felt like it was a long-term commitment and that is why they're confused okay not really you know sure about which way to choose they need to follow their intuition Okay, but I really feel like, you know, they are, 
spirit has their back okay that is what i'm feeling i feel like their third eye chakra is open from what i can feel and they're really thinking about their feminine okay who it was for themselves but also has it going on they don't just you know uh you know play the part they are they're all about it okay they've demonstrated this in the physical in the 3d they don't just talk okay they prove it okay and that is the difference between this feminine okay and uh, this queen okay that is what i'm feeling you know that, that that's the energy that i'm seeing and this masculine is a little confused you know because you know they have uh, been deceptive okay about their feelings about their uh, feminine not really revealing you know their true emotions about you know what they thought was long term you know they wanted something long term and they they realized it was their feminine okay guys they are deceiving themselves they really see you as this queen of pentacles someone stable someone solid you know this queen doesn't just run you know they're grounded okay you know i mean they're there if you need this feminine they are there from what i can see so that's what i'm seeing so far guys wow so hold on one second hi guys sorry about that <laughs> my dad kept calling me three or four times i'm like what is it emergency what happened you know they just want to talk you know that's what i'm seeing so um let's see here keeping up for the feminines okay and this came up in reverse so let's see what the feminines are up to immense effort in advance the lessons of your life are taking place at a fast pace far too swiftly for you to process them it seems you're only just keeping up with all the changes coming to you you must work very hard to make any discernible progress for now you have been trying and trying to get ahead and yet you always seem to be in the very same place this could be in almost any aspect of life, your finances, relationships, career, or success. At this point in time, the answer is to work even harder. You will not have to do this much work with this much effort, perhaps ever again. But the only way out of your current situation is to accelerate, get intense, and push for the breakthrough that is just ahead of you. You need to devote more time than you would wish and sacrifices will need to be made however if you do this you will push through the resistance and explode into the next stage of your life put all your effort into surging ahead and watch as you begin to move in the tiniest of ways ahead of where you have been once you take that lead stay focused on where you are going and you will begin to leave the place you find yourself in now when you push through others will recognize the incredible dedication you have in your own life this will inspire them to push forward with their own dreams too one thing is for sure the intensity of your approach brooks no resistance your movement and energy will drive away all stagnation now go wow this is re um, this is really beautiful and in the reverse it says sluggish approaches will not be rewarded feeling it is impossible to change the way things are feeling entrapped by the effort required to change your current circumstance so feminines you know i mean honestly i'm actually in the upright i've been keeping up i've been pushing myself you know really putting in a lot of extra work and focus you know like even since you know i've been in separation with my masculine i have been reaping the rewards guys like if you put your total focus and dedication into what it is you know that that you're working on whether it being your career your finance your relationships or whatnot you will be blessed and guess what okay other people will see your success and see that you have really worked hard on your craft and they admire that 
Okay, and they too will want to do the same thing. So do you see how energy works? You have to be motivated. You have to be strong. You have to push yourself. You have to go above and beyond. And that is such a Capricorn energy, you know, which I like because I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> I'm very determined and very motivated. And, um, you know, and I, I do work a lot, guys. You know, I'm so focused on work. You know, sometimes it's not healthy, you know, to put uh, all of that. But if you are stagnant, okay, these are for the feminines who are stagnant, who are not putting in the effort that they know that they can put in, you know, to whatever their career goals are or where they want to be. Use this time to do so because I feel like, you know, once you, you break free, Okay, and go through that tr uh, threshold. You're going to reap in your abundance, okay? And you're going to shine. And I feel like your masculine is really feeling this energy. Because, you know, this masculine is really thinking about what is their next step, okay? In their life. And I really feel like they're they're choosing this, this connection with you, feminines, okay? Like I said, I feel like with this collective that I'm channeling, if you guys have been in separation, you're supposed to use this time of separation, feminines, to work on your career, okay? I really feel that you're supposed to excel, okay? So that, you know, you can have stability so that when you come into union with your masculine, it's going to feel effortless. Okay, it's going to feel good. You know, you're not like struggling, you know, to make ends meet when you guys are coming together. That is the feeling that I'm getting. This masculine, okay, I feel like is, is going to take a loss when they leave their third party or karmic situation financially. But at the same time, they're gaining so much more within okay in the spiritual sense and when they come together with their feminine you guys are going to be a powerhouse okay you guys are going to reap in that abundance in the physical because you guys are working your spiritual mission together and that is so beautiful guys i mean i'm seeing this very clearly in my head you know of how things are supposed to work you know with this uh divine union you know feminines you're supposed to take the lead and really work on yourself nurture yourself be independent okay be you know uh less codependent on your masculine or anyone else you know because you are a, a divine person okay you are well equipped to do this on your own okay and so is your masculine but your masculine okay has to release their their past karma we're supposed to break free and clear the old paradigm or templates okay of what is considered normal in the past okay like past relationships or how relationships should be okay like this masculine now can see you know the falseness and how like their soul isn't being filled on the inside and they feel that with their feminine guys okay and i really feel like once your masculine gets out of this third party situation and and cuts their loss in a financial sense in a physical sense where, where it affects their stability this masculine is willing to give it all up in the name of love and when they follow their heart when they follow their feelings okay not material gain okay not because of stability in the material life or what things should be but really follow their heart their spiritual higher self they're going to be blessed okay guys because you guys are supposed to be together that is what i'm feeling i can see this in my mind once your masculine releases all of their attachments okay to things in the physical world and go for a spiritual divine connection they're they're gonna receive new things better things better than what they ever had before if what they had you know took a long time you know uh to get in their lifetime once they release all of that they're going to have better and bigger things you know like so much you know more than they have ever imagined it took them a whole lifetime to get what they had on the physical level but i really feel like once this masculine chooses this connection they have to choose it okay they can't be asking their friends and being lost like a little lost uh, sheep you know not knowing what to really do they have to feel confident in their decision that they 
they love their feminine they really feel this and they are expressing this and they're choosing this connection because you can't fake this okay divine knows if you're faking it okay if are you half in are you half out you know that kind of a situation divine knows okay you know you know how much this masculine has been spiritually awakened to their true self okay and about like what self-love is and really going for you know what they're being gifted okay and that is this divine connection once your mask releases all of those materialistic things of things that they felt like you know took them decades to accumulate you know to build up okay and let that crumble let the whole past crumble so they can have fresh a fresh new start you guys are, are going to build a legacy okay that is for years to come for generations to come and it's going to be beautiful guys i kid you not that is why you know twin flames are rare okay there's not that many of us because we had to clear up our karma guys it is the hardest thing to ever do it really is you know but you have to trust you have to trust in the divine you have to be spiritual okay you have to learn to release you know like things because you know god giveth and they taketh away even you know if the masculine or feminine were controlling of the situation you know clinging on to things that were or were not for them there's a time and place for everything and it's time to release the past so that fresh new energies can come you know abundance you know financial gain a new job you know everything that is so like fulfilling in the heart which is you know a part of the spiritual mission of the divine masculine and divine feminine guys that is what i'm feeling and this is so beautiful whoever this divine couple is your masculine will communicate to you they're going to you know tell you their truth they're going to reconcile and they're going to marry you they're going to choose you and that's what I'm seeing. So I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can reach me on my website. It is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful day and keep me posted. All right, bye.